Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. I'm gonna review a banquet pot pie. Somebody said they wanted to see some pot pie reviews. Now, I guess back in, I, this is a revisit from 2022. And back in 2022, I was doing a bunch of pot pies. I was doing, I was doing them all. Um, <clears throat> Any one that I could find, I was reviewing them. So there's not gonna be too many that I haven't not done. So I think I got two more just to do a, you know, three of them. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, these are revisits. Um, <clears throat> this one here is the chicken and broccoli pot pie. It says flaky crust made from scratch. I was having a little trouble with the flavors of them back then, if I remember correctly. You might watch them and see what I say, but I think they were, they were tasting like, like they weren't getting like the bake, like the baking soda or the flour cooked in enough. It was like on the outside, and I was tasting it, and I was it was like really off putting. <clears throat> Here's what this looks like. You know, these are cheap, you know. Would they be better in the oven? Yes. Do I have an oven in my office? No. I have to use my microwave because I get so many people saying, you know, it's it's much better in a in a stove. I know that but I don't have a stove in here. <laughs> uh, shoot. So anyway, um, if I had a stove in here, I would be doing all kinds of stuff. I'd be doing cooking videos, you know, but no, I'm not a, I'm not a professional cook by no means. <laughs> uh, gosh. But I like to experiment like that. You know, that's a, I like pepper, black pepper on my Popeye type stuff. So let me, I don't want to be sneezing all over the place. And I like a little salt on my Popeye too. Yeah, got it. Get it up here where it's kind of in the light background. I can kind of see when it's falling. Otherwise, I'd be putting too much on there. <clears throat> My dad, he's at 80, 88 now. And he loves salt. Even when I was growing up, salt and pepper, man, he was, he'd always been using way too much. You know, he came over for dinner I don't know, it's been by a couple couple years ago. We had him over for dinner and we have this um <clears throat> uh it's one salt shaker. It's got that kind of a, a rubber kind of top. You push in the middle and it comes right back up like an upside down umbrella, you know what I'm talking about? Well he he didn't know anything about that. He didn't know how to how it works and he's got just a little dementia <clears throat> and um we had him up at the table and uh he says uh jerry can you get me the the black pep the pepper there I said, okay. hand it to him i didn't push the thing in you know i didn't know he didn't know how to do that and then jerry can you hand me the salt i'm watching him he's not noticing that <laughs> nothing's going on is on his uh, food, uh, he just he didn't even pick up on it, and I didn't say anything. I could have said something about the black pepper, but the salt, he doesn't need any salt. And then after dinner, he didn't even realize he didn't have any salt on it. So other stuff he eats, he gets enough salt. So <clears throat> that's what my wife tells me too because I like salt too, but I've, I've really, I've really, um, <clears throat> backed off from using too much salt. And I like to have a little piece of bread or toast, and I like putting it in, inside, like this. This is just the way I've always done it. Just like that. It smells good. There's a piece of chicken and a carrot. And some of the, the flaky crust is on there.
chicken's tender, crust is flaky, it's flavorful for what it is, the gravy's good, so you can, it's, I'm getting the, the saltiness because I just added salt, but I bet these things are already got enough salt in them. Oh yeah, 810 milligrams. Um, total fat, 18 grams. Saturated fat, six grams. Cholesterol, 45 milligrams. Total carbs, 31 grams. Dietary fiber, two grams. Total sugars, three grams. Includes two grams, added sugars. Protein, 11 grams. Calcium, 30 milligrams. Iron, 0 0.8 milligrams. Potassium, 180 milligrams calories 330 per Popeye. <clears throat> I'm hungry. When I was a kid, I practically grew up on pot, pot pies. My mom <clears throat> my mom had four boys okay, and a husband. And um, tending to all of us, later on, got my little brother, but tending to all of us, um, she was a busy woman. And um, she didn't have time a lot of times to make dinner. So we got a lot of TV dinners and we got a lot of Popeyes. When she did have time to do di dinner, we got really good meals. pretty good for what it is and cheap as it is I don't find anything wrong with it I'd say this is a five Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bread works the best to have a slice of bread with that. You don't always have to put stuff inside it and make a sandwich out of it. You can just dunk it in, dunk it in it, you know. Back when I was a kid, there was more. In the pot pies, there was more of a gravy in them <clears throat> to dunk your bread in. But like everything, products change. You would hope they, you know, the quality of stuff would go, go higher, right? No, that's not the case these days. The quality of stuff is going down. <clears throat> All these companies <clears throat> are making their boxes or bags smaller. There's less um, contents inside of it and the prices are going up. And there's not anything we can do about it. Especially if you want that product, you have to do that, you have to buy it. You have to pay those prices. <clears throat> it's pretty cruel, really. I mean, 
people, not everybody can afford these prices, but if they want it, they either have to buy it or buy a off brand for cheaper and be satisfied with that. Okay, that's good. I'm almost done with my lunch. I don't remember the other... I'm pretty sure I got two. I don't remember what the other two were. But they're probably going to be revisits from 2022 as well. They're going to... I'm pretty sure they're going to be revisits. I didn't check to see if I'd done them all, but... <clears throat> As I, if I'm looking at the you know the little refrigerators inside the store, and I'm looking at them, and something catches my eye that doesn't sound familiar, it's a good chance I've never done that one before. But all of them look familiar to me, so I was just like picking out a couple, two or three, uh, for whoever it was that asked me to do these. Excuse me, I was thinking it was Rob Robloxian Gamer Girl, but I'm not totally sure about that. I got a piece of chicken that was like really chewy. That could be contributed to the microwave heating eating part so I can't blame banquet for that they put the micro you know it's a microwaving is an option on here along with conventional oven <clears throat> but you don't have to microwave it unless you just don't have a microwave or I don't have a stove. Okay. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. You know what? Just realized something. <clears throat> I tasted chicken, the carrots, the gravy. But I didn't taste any broccoli. I didn't even feel like I chewed on any broccoli. Was there any broccoli in this? If there was, it wasn't a prominent enough flavor that I said, oh, there's a piece of broccoli. Oh, that's good. I would have noticed it. <clears throat> so either they didn't put it in here or I don't know. But I didn't taste any. So I'll have to deduct a point. So let's say a four instead of a five there you go thanks for watching appreciate it see you all on the next one